Hello everyone. Tonight I'd like to start a series of videos on the Cedar King technique, which I studied with Gladys Barnes for 10 years. And uh, it's to strengthen your hands and develop independent fingers using the natural weight of your body. And you have to start with a relaxed arm and you can practice just picking up the arm and feeling how heavy it is with your shoulders dropped. If you imagine your spine is like a stack of checkers and your arms are just hanging loose and heavy from there and just slowly lift your arm up over the keys and then flop onto the floor, not just to the key bed, but to the floor and feel that the weight goes right down. And when you can get that feeling of dead weight, you'll be able to control how fast the key goes down and produce a beautiful tone as long as the finger has a structure to it and supports the natural weight of your arm. So if you think of a relaxed arm, that's loose shoulder, loose elbow, and loose wrist, and firm curved fingers. If you imagine your back has a brace on it, to hold your shoulders back a little bit so that they're not uh, slouched, you're not slouched into the keys. You've got to have a, a dignified look to your body <laughs> and poise and nobility to it. And when you can sit on the front half of your bench and lean forward so the, the front half of the bench, you're not sitting, it's hard for me to show that here, but there you see I'm on the front half and then I can lean forward into the keys and, and get my weight into the keys. So I want to be able to balance the full weight of the arm on the tip of the finger, have firm curved fingers. And that doesn't mean that they have to be right out onto the very tip. They can be on this kind of thing the, where the fingers got a roundness to it, but it's, but it's not a tightness like that. And then you want quick, sharp finger action, both up and down, quick up and quick down, and a high finger lift. And because you're trying to develop the lift muscles as well as the playing down muscles. If you thought of dribbling a ball, that's the down. And if you think of the up as like a, using a paddle board with an elastic band and a rubber ball on it, you stretch that ball up through the elastic band and let go. And then you start doing this then you've got the feeling of independent fingers because you need a clean release. So you need to be able to play two down at once and then clean release. But you want to be able to set your elbows in the keys and feel that your whole body weight is resting there. And if you lift your feet up and down, you'll feel that whole core body weight. That's what's sinking through to the floor when you flop. And if you can think of releasing on the way up, if I play something where I don't release on the way, I would get like this. If I don't release on the way up, I get. And if I can go. And then I want intonation. So I want to hear it die down, match how quiet it got, and draw on that tone. So. When you can do this series of actions in the going, you create a beautiful tone and then the legato, the tight legato overlapping of notes, and then a clean release. So you want to play well in on the white keys in your Siva King exercises, have a straight thumb and a limpid wrist. So the wrist is movable up and down like that. You're just resting in the keys, but you're not down tight like that or anything, and you're not up like this but you're free to move like that because you need to be able to turn a doorknob and help to keep things moving and flowing as you go to the next note, like if you're playing a scale. So be able to go. It's the whole arm you're using. So to begin with, then the first exercise in the Siva King book, uh, this is the original manuscript from, I uh, forget whether it was 18, you know, 19, uh, 13 or something, I forget. I'll have to pull this book apart to see where it was written on the front there. The first exercise is at a metronome 60. That's one pick per second on the finger holds. The second finger holds 
and you work the third finger down for a full second, up for a full second rest. You feel like you're lifting all in the hands. You feel like you're keeping a V between your between your your hands. You're not letting it go like this. It's like that because you need the sharpness of the action. It's got to be never in between that sharpness. And uh, if you think of releasing on the way up and halfway down at that point, you can explode with the finger action, go out in as well as down. So, and then the lift of the unused fingers. So that way you grip the, the key in a, in a caring way. You want to be able to reach your heart when you're playing piano and the way you're singing the piece from your, from your feelings, from your emotions. And so you've got to be able to control how the key goes down. If you just play the key, it's going to be noise. So you've got to be able to go in gently. So it can be out, and the back of the upper arm is part of what's flopping. And you, you hold that for a full second, and you lift. Full second, lift. We did this exercise. I went, Miss Barnes wouldn't take you unless you came twice a week, a uh, half hour lesson. And we started every lesson with this exercise. That's how important it is. And she checked by pulling on your elbow and make sure that it falls back like a rag doll, so loose. She'd say, look, get your weight or go home. <laughs> so after eight of those, you hold the E and you work the F. But it's the drop of the weight that's putting the key down. It's not just the finger. It's the relaxed arm and gravity is an acceleration of force that's pulling it down so if you release on the way up you've got the whole length of your arm from your neck balanced and you hold that that full finger lift where you're really squeezing the blood out of the out of the muscle to help it to grow and then the, the grip and the taking of the weight as well so that's the right hand legato on for a second off for a second and then the left is the same thing when you start on F you work E so two on F and then three on the E C and you work the D. You're playing well in on the white key. Balancing the full length of your arm on the tip or on the pad of the finger. Dead weight. 
के सामने exercise staccato so you like that and the left will be and so on so you got that's your first lesson in the Siva King exercises so we'll take it from video two from there thank you now bye